Hey loves, welcome to Heart to Heart Love Messages. My name is Crystal. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you are already subscribed here, welcome back. So today I have a message for those of you who are currently in no contact from your person, okay? The communication may be lagging, okay? There could be something going on with the communication. There could be a lot of delays here. Um, and you may be wondering what's going on with your person, okay? You may need some type of confirmation. And so this message will just give you a look inside of what your person is feeling right now. Just a real raw message from their heart space here, okay, to give you some further clarity. So I will be pulling from the Heart to Heart Love Messages deck just to see how your person is currently feeling about you and or your connection at this time, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. And the first message we have here is, wow. We have, I'm paying for what I did to you. Wow. So the first thing that I'm picking up here is this energy of shame and disappointment within themselves here. This is a masculine energy who mishandled you big time, okay? I just got over and over again. There was definitely something very, very cyclic within your dynamic with this masculine energy that's coming through here. And your person is really at this place where they've been feeling this for a while, okay? I'm even getting that within your connection here, your person knew that they were not treating you well within this connection, that they were not handling you properly. And I'm getting that just from maybe their experience, maybe their background, maybe their past, okay, past relationship dynamics here. This energy really spilled over into your connection and your person is realizing that they made a huge mess, okay? And what's really, really highlighted in your person's life right now is the fact that they are really paying for these things that they did within this connection here, okay? I'm getting that they didn't understand the severity of the damage that they caused you. I'm getting some of you really, really either suffered with your person here, but I'm getting that the, the, greatest, the greatest thing that you had to deal with or that you had to suffer through was your emotional process was your heart, okay? It was really going through a period in your life where you felt like this love that you wanted just wasn't real, okay? That it was a fairy tale, that it was all in your mind here, that you fell in love with this shell of a person, okay? And it's, it's almost confusing to you because your person somehow transformed into a version that you had never seen before, there was a vast difference between who they were when you first met them versus who they became as you got to know them, as you got more comfortable, as you actually fell more in love with them. And this puts you in a very, very difficult place here, okay? I'm getting because the, the version of your person that you saw, their heart, their soul, Okay, that beautiful divine soul that you saw that instantly drew you to them, that made you fall in love with them. You were literally at a place where you were trying to figure out who that person was. Okay, and I'm getting that there was something that switched with, within the dynamic of your connection here. And you took a lot of this blame. You may have taken a lot of this guilt here. But your person is definitely at this place where you may definitely be in a separation from your person here and they have a lot of time to think. And the main reason why they have a lot of time to think at this time is because they had a lot of superficial connections within their lives. They had a lot of placeholders. They had a lot of energy that was lying dormant. 
okay, within their lives, within the people, places, and things that they were occupying their time with when you were together, okay? And it's almost as if when your energy was stripped from your person's world, there was a highlight onto these people, places, and things. And what your person began to realize is that they really, really tricked themselves out of their biggest blessing. And that blessing was you, okay? So I feel like your person is definitely going through this process where they're realizing things in their lives are, nor are just naturally slipping away from them here. And they're tracing everything back to this connection with you. Okay, your person is definitely at this place where um, I'm almost getting like this gut-wrenching, just feeling of disappointment within themselves, within their actions, really with how they showed up and how they presented themselves to you in this connection, okay? This was not a direct reflection of who your person was. This was a direct reflection of who your person was standing in the middle of a karmic cycle, massive karmic cycles that they refused to break. And because they refused to break these cycles, they refused to go down this path, okay? Um, this higher path, this, this spiritual path, this path that God had chose for them, okay? Um, your person was attached to so many things that exposed their, their lower selves. And this energy definitely spilled over into your connection here, okay? So your person is coming through wanting to know, wanting you to know that they're in this process of clearing. And it's almost as if your connection is sticking out in their mind here because they're very, very regretful. I get very regretful energy here of how they showed up in this connection, okay? I'm just getting very apologetic energy. And your person really, 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 really concerned about how you currently view them, okay? I'm getting that this message is very, very specific. This may not resonate with everyone here, but this is very specific energy, okay? Um, if this is resonating with you so far, you definitely um, may be at a distance from your person here. There's definitely been a lot of time for you to heal. I feel like you're in this process where you have transmuted this energy. You gave a lot, you've invested a lot of time and energy into this person, into this connection. And you've really had to go through a process of elimination. You've really had to learn how to pour back into yourself, how to kind of bring yourself back to life because so much of you um, was given to this person here. Um, I'm getting that you definitely maybe may have been more spiritually inclined. You may have been more along on your journey. Um, there could have been a difference in age. Maybe you were more mature. May, um, maybe you were more emotionally aware or emotionally intelligent than your person here because you had a lot of grace and a lot of patience that I'm getting here. And it's almost as if your person is really, really bummed out that they didn't notice this at that point, okay? I'm getting that you were extremely nurturing to your person, maybe more than you should have been, okay? And your person took this for granted. They definitely did. I'm getting they mishandled you big time, okay? So you will know this is your message if, if it's resonating with you so far. Let's go ahead and get the next message here. Yeah, we have you open my eyes to the truth. I'm getting that just being in this connection with you not only opened your person's eyes up to just the truth about the world. Um, I'm getting that just being with you has opened your person up to a whole nother reality, Divine Feminine. But not only did you open them up and, and you show them how to view the world through the lens of hope, faith, possibility, okay? But also, you've opened their eyes to who they actually are, 
okay? Because Divine Feminine, I don't think you understand how powerful your energy is, how many masculines just want to experience a Divine Feminine. Just having your energy, your radiance um, into be infused within your masculine's life really open them up to a whole nother world here but the the tricky thing about this energy about your energy divine feminine is that when you are attached to different people your light becomes their light and a lot of times um if you're with somebody who is not as spiritually inclined if you're with somebody who is at a lower level okay and i don't mean that in a negative way i mean that in a sense that they're not as aware. Um, this person can oftentimes mistake your light for their light. They can mistake your blessings for their blessings. And it's, it's very, very important to be mindful about who you align with on your path because you really, really begin to mesh and your destiny becomes intertwined with someone else's destiny, you know. Um, I think we really take a lot of things lightly as it pertains to, you know, life. Nothing is by coincidence. The people you meet, the places you frequent, all of this has meaning, right? So you opened your person up to an entirely different world. But what your person is coming through saying is that I've had a glimpse of your world. I've had a glimpse of what life looks like when I'm a part of your world. And now that this energy has been kind of stripped away from me, okay, your person is now seeing their doings. It's it's kind of being highlighted at this time here. And I feel like if if you haven't heard from your person, this this is maybe why. I feel like your person is is not ready to really open this up because there, there's a great deal of shame here. Okay, and it's it's really um, a humbling experience when you have to sit and you have to face the things that you have done. Okay, you have to sit here and you have to really, really bask in, in kind of like the, the dysfunction or the delays that you created here. So I feel like your person is at this place where they're trying to get through this process. They're trying to get on the other side of this before they come back to you. They don't want to come back to you still going through this. They don't want to come back to you still trying to close out these cycles because I definitely feel like enough damage has been done, okay? You've really been exposed to um, your person's lower self if, if you're resonating with this message here. And I'm getting that despite what your person showed you, you still had the capacity to love them. You still held space for them, maybe way longer than you should have, okay? And although your person in that moment, in that moment of time, didn't have the tools to really understand what that was, now they're looking back and they are just feeling, you know, very, very down. They're not um, in a place where where they can openly, you know, express these different range of emotions that they're feeling as they're going back in time and, and looking at these actions that they took here. You know, they're very embarrassed about how they showed up in this connection with you here. I'm getting because you, you didn't deserve a lot of the things that transpired, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. We have, there's so much going on behind the scenes. Yeah. Yeah, I just got crumbling. Okay, I feel like your person's world is literally crumbling around them. But I also feel this energy of your person feeling a lot lighter. Your person really, really looking at the value, understanding the difference between quality and quantity. Okay, because I'm definitely getting your person could be surrounded by or could have been surrounded by a lot of superficial connections, a lot of things that didn't really add value to their lives, a lot of things that when you look at the projection, when you look at the trajectory over, over time, it really wouldn't add value to their lives here, but they were so attached to these things. 
okay? I'm getting that your person was really, really familiar with this energy. There was a lot of familiar energy, a lot of um, connections or energies in their lives that were solely based on history and that value, okay? And I'm, I'm even picking up that even if you were not around your person for a very, very long time, the, the level of you know, authenticity, the level of realness and just, I'm just getting a really, really solid connection, a solid bond, a safe space that you were for your person. It's almost as if you became their safe space. You became the place where they could really become undone. They could really be themselves. They could really um, experience happiness, but I'm seeing that they were still at the same time wanting to go back and indulge in these things that really did not serve them, okay? This could be people, places, I'm even getting addictions, okay? And you you really loved your person through this. You really became their safe space. But at this time, it's almost as if they wanted to be, they were in this really great area. They wanted to keep going back and forth, okay? But yeah, your person is showing up, letting you know that there's a lot that they're navigating through. I feel like your person um, may have dug themselves in a, in, a, in a bit of a hole here. And they're literally, I just get them, you know, trying to dig themselves out, trying to really, really look at this. Um, but they want you to know they're, they're going through a lot behind the scenes. So if you haven't spoken to your person, this is why. If you're trying to figure out what it is that they're going through, have they even realized how much damage they have caused? Have they realized, um, have they started to do the work? Um, are they even looking into, you know, how to rebuild themselves? Are they looking into how to heal here? Um, yes, they are. Okay, and I'm also getting that there was a lot that you instilled within your person. Um, there could have been some information, but I'm, pick, I'm, I'm picking up the energy that you always felt as if your person wasn't hearing you, or maybe they didn't give you the feedback that you thought, you know, that you should have received in that moment here. It's always as if you felt like what you were saying was falling on deaf ears. No, your person definitely heard everything that you said here. And I'm seeing that they're actually using these tools that you use, okay, I'm getting, you may be very, very spiritually inclined. You may just be someone who has been through a great deal of trauma. I'm not, you know, putting the divine feminine on this pedestal as you're, you're this perfect person. No, you show up today healed and you show up today loving yourself because you actually put in that work. You know, no one is perfect. But you have to be intentional about how you want to show up. And I'm seeing that you really learned this process of turning your pain into purpose. And you were actually going through this process while you were with your person. And you felt as if you were kind of leaving your person behind. Now it's almost as if your person is trying to catch up. They're remembering things that you said. They're remembering, you know, certain processes that you used or really, really trying to tap into this energy because Divine Feminine, your energy changed your person's life. And they did not realize how imperative this was in that moment. Okay, a lot of them overlooked this. A lot of them didn't see the value in this at that time. But now that your energy has been pulled away from them, they definitely notice that it is a vast difference between having you in their lives and not having you in their lives. And now they're literally doing everything that they can possibly do to regain that energy, to regain that light, that positivity, because they equate it to the time period in their lives when they were the closest to you, okay? They're, they're feeling a vast difference. All right, let's get the next message here. Yeah, this message is very, very specific, okay? Very specific. Wow, we have, I'm afraid of who I am becoming. Yeah, you know what I just got? Your person is at this place where they're literally asking God to show them who they are. Wow, that's, that's powerful. Your person is really, really asking God to reveal to them 
how to be their higher self. What is it that they need to do? They're really, really invested. But your person is also a little bit afraid of this process because they know that their world is going to change totally. And I definitely feel that I'm, I'm going back to these connections that they have. So I definitely feel like there's some old energy. There is some connections that they have here. Some of them have trauma bonds, you know, and it really, really takes a long time to, to break this stuff out of your energy here, especially if you don't have the tools or especially if you're not ready. Okay, but I'm definitely getting that your person is at this place where they're willing to basically do anything to get into alignment with what God has for them. I feel like they've been navigating life for a very, very long time and it's almost as if the one element that they were missing was spirituality, love, okay? Really, really seeing the life, I mean, seeing lens, seeing life through the lens of possibility, okay? Really believing that, that they could have this life, that they could be this person. Your person is a little bit afraid here. This, this is new territory here, but I'm definitely getting that because they saw your journey, okay? This is someone who knows you. They may, they may have known you before you evolved into who you are today. And they've seen your journey. They've seen you overcome. They've seen you become this higher, um, brighter, more radiant, more vibrant version of yourself here. And your person wants that for themselves too. And they're, they're really at this place where they're, they're feeling, um, yeah, they're feeling really, really ashamed because you, you wanted this for them as well. All right. So your person wants you to know like they're afraid, they're nervous, okay, um, a little anxious, but they've already decided They've already decided they're they're becoming this version of themselves here. Let's get the next message. Wow, we have I'm worried about you. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely going back to, to the mishandled thing. Your person um is definitely worried about you. Um they're wondering how you're showing up in the world, they're wondering what your next what your next thing is what your next level is um i'm also getting that your person is worried that because you put in so much work because you are showing up really really beautiful really really vibrant because once you tap into this energy of really loving yourself and really taking all of that energy that you poured into something else and pour it into yourself here um you literally become so magnetic you can literally, you know, walk outside and you'll just see people smiling at you and greeting you and you literally become so radiant from the inside out. Your person is worried that, you know, you are going to attract so many good and positive things into your life and you're going to leave them behind. Okay? They're very, very aware of, of who you are. If, if in case you were wondering here, because I get that energy here with a divine feminine is like, does this person even know, you know, like who I am? And I'm not even talking about exterior. I'm talking about internally. OK, do, do they know my soul? Do they know who I am? Do they know my story? Do they know what it is that I've been through? How much, you know, work that I put into becoming this person? OK. Do they know this? Do they know that I get up and I, I choose to be, I choose to be this light, you know? I choose to be this version of myself every single day and it's not easy. Yeah, your person is definitely in this state where they're trying to figure out where you are mentally. How do you view them, okay? Is there any hope for you? I just got that so clearly. Because you're you're not at this state where, where you're willing to kind of put your life on hold for anyone else. You love yourself way too much right now, Divine Feminine. You love your person too, okay? There's a lot of love here, a lot of genuine love because I'm getting a really, really solid connection here. But you're at this place where 
you know, you've really, really gone through this journey and you have a lot of love and a lot of respect for yourself first and foremost, okay? And you've learned how to love your person from a distance. You've learned how to send love and light and you really genuinely mean that. And I feel like although that's a great thing, your person is kind of a little nervous because they're like, wow, you're not in this place where you're frantic. You're not worried about what it is that I'm doing, who it is that I'm engaging with. You know, you're at this place where you're completely calm about it because you've transmuted all of that energy, that worry, that doubt, okay, into love, into peace, into calmness, you know, and that's manifested and it's, it's, it's expanding your world. Your world is literally expanding and your person is literally watching you from afar in amazement and wanting to be a part of that, okay? So if they have um, access to you visually, maybe on social media, maybe you have mutual friend groups here, they definitely see you. I'm, I'm getting glow up, okay? They definitely see you looking beautiful, being radiant. You just have this new energy about yourself that's so magnetic, okay? And your person is worried about, you know, who's gonna see it as well. They're worried about, does everyone else see you how they see you now? And the answer is yes. Okay. So let's get the last message here. Wow, we have everything makes sense now. Yeah. So I definitely feel you're resonating with this message so far. Um, you were dealing with a divine masculine who initially, when you met them, your souls literally felt at home okay this was a beautiful connection and as you begin to journey together there were certain triggers there were certain karmic cycles there were certain um things of the past that really began to spill over into your connection to the point where you became exposed to a different version of your person your person may have even brought out a different version of you okay and your person is at this place where now that you're separate from them, they're sifting through all of this energy. They're really, the things have really been put under a microscope, so to speak, for them to pay attention to it. And with your energy kind of being drawn back from your person here, now they're just sitting in their own stuff. And it's literally hitting them like a ton of bricks. I'm definitely getting very, very shameful. Um, very this this air of regret here coming from your person but they've been exposed to the truth now they're in this position where they really um are, are are making the choice to act on this truth that that they've come in, into this awareness about it's almost as if your person has found themselves they're asking god you know they've really tapped back into that spiritual essence and it's really begun to, to shift their mind. It's really begun to change them mentally. They're beginning to look at the people, places, and things around them differently now. They're looking at it as things that's literally stopping them from their destiny, literally stopping them for, from what God has for them. So I feel like your person is in this place where they're really putting the pieces together and they're, they're trying to figure this out actively. But it's very important to them to get this together, okay, as a masculine energy. It's very important for them to get this together before they approach you. So if you're wondering why you haven't heard from your person, why they feel so quiet, um, you know, why they haven't given you um, an explanation as to what's going on or what it is that they're feeling, I feel like they're really hyper-focused on cleaning this up. Um, presentation is very, very important to your person, the energy that I'm picking up on here. So they definitely don't want to present anything to you that they know, you know, you would not be happy with at this stage. You've been through way too much with this person I'm getting, okay? So I feel like your person is definitely um, tapped into their spirituality, okay? They're in the process of finding themselves. They're in the process of evolving. And then your person is really thinking about coming to find you. Okay, it's like a step-by-step -step process that I'm getting here. Wow. So this is the message that I have for you all today. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.